Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the author of the Death Destroyer book. I am here today with Professor Louis Blois. He's a top mathematician and he's wrote many of the questions for the Math Destroyer book. Professor, can you show us a problem that you have? This looks very, very exotic. Yeah, it's not that all that exotic. All right. I have three problems. But each one of them are related to a similar concept. Let's read the first one, the longest one. A student practices four musical notes as shown, starting with the note furthest to the left and continuing in order uh, over the uh, left to right. If the student plays the notes over and over again according to this pattern and immediately stops after playing the third note, the, dark, the shaded note shown, which of the following could be the total number of notes played? Well, let's take a look at this. Every time the student plays four notes, that means the number of notes he's played is a multiple of four. Okay, he plays them over and over and over and over and over again. How many times? Who knows? But when he plays it the last time and he stops at the shaded note, he stops at the third note. He stops one short of a multiple of four. So, which of the possible numbers could represent the number of times he's played this sequence? Well, it's going to be the number that's one short of a multiple of four. So let's add one to each of these choices and see which one comes up as a multiple of four. 58 plus one, 59. No, it can't be that. 60 plus one, 61. No, that's not a multiple of four. 63 plus 1, 64, that's a multiple of 4. So yes, he plays uh, the sequence 63 times and it stops at the black note, at the darkened note. All right, let's look at the next problem related to a very similar concept. What day of the week will it be 250 days from Tuesday? Okay, well, how many days there are there in the week? Seven days in a week. So let's take 250 and let's find out how many seven day periods there are in 250 days, because every seven days, the calendar is gonna come back to Tuesday. So let's see, seven into 25, three times, three times 21, 40, seven goes into 45 times, five times seven is 35, with a remainder of five. Now, it's not the 35 that concerns us most here, it's the remainder, because after 35 weeks, the calendar goes back to Tuesday every time, 35 times. It's the number of leftover days that's going to tell us what day of the week it is. So we're five days after Tuesday, so let's count. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and that's our answer. It's Sunday. A very similar problem here, looking at remainders. Given this decimal number, this sequence of notes, it's a repeating pattern, 0 0.12345, 1, 12345, 1, 12345, etc. If the five digits continue to repeat as shown, what will be the digit in the 238th place? Okay, same thing. If every time I count five digits, uh, the number of digits I encounter is a multiple of five. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 10. Well, 238, we have to look at what's the closest multiple of 5 to 238 would be 235. This 238 is simply 3 more than the most recent multiple of 5. Therefore, where does this digit stop? On what place is the 238th digit? The third one after the most recent multiple of 5, that is, would be 3. 1, 2, 3. And there's our answer there. So you can see how all these are sort of related to looking at remainders rather than quotients in a, in a problem. Okay, thank you, Professor Blois. I thought that was a very unusual type of question. Yeah, it, could, it could show up on the deck, yeah. Who's your best musician? Who's my best musician? I'm curious, if all bands or... Oh, I um, like anyone. I like the New York Philharmonic. And you know, my Shostakovich is my man, so... Me, on the other hand, Lady Gaga. <laughs> okay, good day to you. Bye-bye. <laughs>